Hello and welcome to the first episode of Lisburn Distillery Television for 2019. First up today it gives me great pleasure to welcome on board a new face to the team in Rosie McKee. Rosie, welcome to Lisburn Distillery Television. Thank you Colin. This is going to be a bit of an experience. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a um, new challenge for 2019. See how we get on. Unfortunately, I have to tell our viewers you're a bit of a Liverpool supporter, is that right? Well, they are top of the league at the minute, Colin, and where's Chelsea? Just at the minute. There's a long way to go. Stephen Gerrard still has to make a slip of video. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Coming up on today's show, we have exclusive highlights from Lisburn Distillery's most recent game in the Premier Intermediate League when they hosted Tobermore United. We will be looking ahead to this weekend's match as the Whites return to Irish Cup action against Queen's at the Dump. And finally we'll have details on the next manager's launch which takes place on Saturday, January the 12th. Lisburn Distillery's last match saw them host Tobermore United in a Premier Intermediate League game on December the 22nd. For the distillery this was a chance to make it three league wins out of three. However, for our visitors, they hadn't lost a league game since the opening day of the season. So this was always going to be a tough proposition for the Whites. Let's see how the game turned out. Here's the match highlights. Bye. 
So then, a truly frustrating result for the story, but all credit to Tobermore for refusing to lie down when other sides would simply have given up. I was not the match, Colin, but from the highlights, it seems to have been a game of two halves. Very much so. Um, very, very frustrating. First half, the Whites were as good as they played all season, played some really, really good football. Took a two-goal lead, looked as if they were sort of home and dry. Second half, just didn't get out of the blocks. Tobermore got a goal back, the nerves set in. Uh, we panicked a bit, they got a second goal, then we had a chance to regain the lead. We hit the sort of the crossbar and but didn't go in and came back up and they scored a wonder goal and the game was lost. This is the way football works. Two more goals for Matthew Ferguson, Texas tally up to 21. He's going to be some loss this season. Yeah, I think that was the other sort of devastating thing a wee bit. Uh, you know, after Saturday's game, obviously Matthew, as you said, 21 goals at any level of football and the season's only halfway through is remarkable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, unfortunately we heard just after the game then he had this agreed terms to move to Harney with Welders, your division above us. Um, unfortunately, under an amateur contract, there's nothing we could do to prevent the release, but we do wish him well and with just mm -hmm. thank for his goals. He's given a lot of reasons for celebration this season. We wish him well as he moves on to his new club. If we look now at the current league table after the last few games, we can see that Lisburn Distillery are in 5th place in the standings, with Queen's continue to lead the way as we go into 2019. Next up for Lisburn Distillery sees the side return to action in the Irish Cup, with a testing away tie at Queen's on Saturday look forward to. Thoughts on that one Colin? Tough match. Um... It's certainly a bit tougher. At the end of the day, Queens are still in our division. They are top of the pile in terms of our division, so it's going to be a hard game. But at the same time, if we play the form, we can get a result. It's a cup match. If they play the form, they'll get the result. So it's all about who performs on the day. But we're certainly not overawed by them. We've played them twice this season already. We've won one and we've drawn one, so we're certainly not scared by them. But they'll think the exact same. They'll be expecting, or not expecting, but optimistic they can get a win as well. So it should be a good game. Brilliant. Supporters are advised that due to the possibility of extra time and penalties being required on Saturday, that a game against Queen's will kick off at the earlier time of 1.30pm. And as ever your support for the Whites on the day, we'd be greatly appreciated. So that brings us to the conclusion of this week's LDTV. However, before we go, can we bring you some details on a special event happening shortly at the club? Yes indeed, on Saturday the 12th of January, ahead of our game versus Dollingstown, the club will be hosting the next of our ever popular managers lunches. Starting at 12 o'clock noon, this event will give supporters the chance to hear from our management team of Colin McElwain and George O'Boyle, as well as our special guest on the day, who on this occasion will be the study legend Francis Smith. Food on the day will be as ever a courtesy of Jed Irwin, and on this occasion will feature one of his special fries, consisting of eggs, sausage, bacon, mushroom, hash browns and potato bread. Cost to attend the event is £10 and advance booking is essential, with further details on this available on the club website and social media. And that completes our first episode of LDTV 2019. Thanks as ever for joining us and for your ongoing support for the Lisburn Distillery Football Club. Until the next time, come on the whites. <laughs>